Hi guys, in this video we will see some examples of Java benchmarks, uh, simple one and GMH. The simple one is uh, just uh, measuring the time between the start and end of some action in Java. Uh, we are going to use system nano time and later we will convert this in uh, nanoseconds, milliseconds or minutes depending on our needs. And let's start with this first example. So this is the example. Here we are uh, running uh, the before the start. Uh, we are measuring the time in uh, nanoseconds. And after the end of this section, we are doing the same. Uh, this is uh, invocation of a recursive Fibonacci for calculating the 43rd element. And here we don't have any extra libraries in order to execute this. Uh, you can see that we are using time units for uh, time conversion from uh, nanoseconds to milli and seconds and min minutes. And let's execute it and see the result. Mm, it's going to take a few seconds. And as you can see here we have this is the 43rd element of this sequence and it took uh, this nanoseconds, this is in milliseconds, uh, seconds and here as you can see we have uh, two time seconds, this one it's uh, with better precision which is uh, uh, get by this line here by division and converting to double. And for minutes, we are truncating the result since it's uh, less than a minute. And you can use this for very simple measurements and uh, benchmarks just to get the rough idea of the time. Uh, the other method is more complicated but also more precise and accurate. It's a uh, Java micro benchmark harness. Uh, here we need to add. Uh, this dependency to other project. Uh, here we are using a Maven file. So we are adding uh, these dependencies to our POM file. And then um, we are creating two classes. The first one is uh, the one which is going to run the benchmark. And the second one is test, uh, which is going to be the uh, going to be tested. Uh, so let's move to the test. Uh, this is the one which is going to be tested. Here we are calculating the 46th element of uh, this sequence. And this is the runner. Let's run this code. And let's go back to the example. Uh, here uh, you can see that we have uh, test of this function which is recursive execution of Fibonacci. Uh, here we have some configurations, uh, number of iterations for warm up and measurement which is 2 and 1, by default I think it's uh, 20 and 10 which is going to take longer and only for this video I decrease the number. We have also a mod which is uh, give us average time for this execution and you can check uh, uh, deeper details if you want. I will put some links so you can check them. And this example take uh, 36 seconds in total. Let's see what we are going to have for 43rd uh, element. But we need to move on the other class in order to run it. Benchmark runner. And let's go back uh, to this uh, class here. As you can see, we have nothing special here. Just uh, getting the configuration for the benchmark, putting the annotation there, and then uh, putting our uh, action to be measured. Here we have 9 seconds for this execution which 
uh, is the total time. We have also average time and you can compare with uh, the previous example. As you can see here, this one it's with uh, better accuracy. Uh, even if you put uh, bigger number for iterations and uh, uh, you change uh, some values, you have uh, more precise results. That's all for now. If you have any questions, please do ask them. Thank you for watching and see you soon.